I I don't know how to intro this, so I'm just gonna say hi. Hi. <laughs> Today I am doing um a makeup tutorial. Woo! Let me get my shit out. So as I said before, I'm doing a makeup tutorial because it was um, requested on my Instagram. Basically what I'm doing today is like a snake skin type look. It doesn't make sense, but it will once I get into it. Just want to set a disclaimer, I am not a makeup expert. I am literally self-taught and have my own ways of doing stuff. I don't have the most um, expensive makeup or stuff like that. I just go off what I have and it turns out pretty good. So if you judge me, get a life. <laughs> wow, sass. First thing I would suggest to do is to tie hair up, but I'm like too lazy, so let's move on. <laughs> with my makeup routine, I normally start off with eyebrows, so I like to prime the whole... What the frick? As I was saying, I like to prime the whole face before um, starting with my eyebrows because after eyebrows I move straight onto eye. And most of the time I have to add stuff around my eye and like on my face. So I like to have it primed beforehand. I'm pretty sure that made no sense but I'm gonna go with it. Also I'm using the e.l.f. mineral infused face primer. It's clear like this. <laughs> After that, I start doing my eyebrows and I use the brow pencil from OXX Studio in light. After I fill in my eyebrows, I take in my concealer. It's the Rimmel London wake me up concealer and I just go and outline them and then blend them out with my beauty blender after that is done I um, go straight onto my eyes so I'm gonna prime my eyes with the BHS eyeshadow primer Now we're going to move on to eyes and I'm going to start off with my Festival BYS eyeshadow palette. This is a go-to for me because most of my looks are very bright and colourful. So I'm going to take this little fluffy blending brush and take this light green colour and put it on my eye as a base. So this is my eyes with the green base. It is way brighter on camera than I thought it would be. It does not look that bright in person. But now, basically what I'm going to do is get this darker green, probably just this one, if not a blend of these two, and just darken it up a bit before I go in with some black to eventually, finally, smoke it out. Just added the next green. It was being a pain in the ass to blend and it still isn't blending well. But I'm just gonna continue because you know what? I'll get through it. <laughs> so I believe next I'm going to open my L'Oreal Los Angeles Pro Mega 3 palette. And I'm just gonna take a bit of this jet black and I think I'm gonna tuck it in here, but I'm going to use Maybe a smaller brush. Just kidding. I'm using this brush again um, And I'm just gonna see how this goes and if it doesn't work I'll fix it somehow. I only want to touch because like black goes a long way and once you've added too much boy You've ruined the whole thing <sighs> Trust me I've done it before. I don't know if you can see I'll turn this camera on but the reason I also do foundation stuff uh, last is because um I don't know if you can see on this one, but you might be able to get it on this one. The fallout is making my under eyes green. And if that was on foundation, that would be horrible. Now 
Now, because I'm a uh, perfectionist, I'm going to clean up these edges because they're really annoying me. Because um, they're not really blending, so I'm going to get rid of them and then blend the original color that is there now out a bit more. Now that I just finished that, I think I'm going to take some more of this light green color from this palette and just pack it on here and blend it out a bit so the inner corner of my eyes are a little bit lighter. To add some more of this light green to the start of my eye, I'm just going to use this flat type packing brush and just put it on there and then blend it out. Is it focused? Now I'm going to add this green to just above my lash line. I'm going to use this really flat brush and get it right on the line. Also just going to spray it with some setting spray to make it more glittery and shiny on the eye. Now I'm going to take the same green colour but with a smaller packing brush and kind of just put it on this side of the inner corner. Now I'm going to use my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette and use this same brush and get this white highlighter and just put it a little bit above where I put that green just to make sure that inner corner is very bright. Now I'm not finished with the eye yet because I still have to do my under eye but before then I like to put down my base so then um, my under eye isn't just on plain skin, it has something to grip to. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation, concealer and powder on. For foundation I use Rimmel London Lasting Finish full coverage foundation um, and for the powder I use Rimmel Stay Matte powder in transparent because I'm white thank you I yep now I'm going to take an angled brush that I just dropped I'm gonna take an angled brush and just most likely get this green tucked under here and then probably blend these two together around here and then bring some black down so then it looks evened out. And now that I've just put the little bit under my eye, which I would normally do for most of my looks, I'm going to extend it down a bit, kind of like in a triangle-ish shape because I'm going to do something on top of it afterwards that will give the actual snake type look if you get what I mean so I'm just gonna extend that down probably not as detailed as what I did here but still a green color So now that that doesn't look as triangly, I have to add some eyeshadow up here as well because there's going to be something going up here. Um, so for here, I think I'm just going to do kind of the same thing but just in one colour just to make it easier for myself because I'm kind of getting lazy but it's fine. We'll, we're striving, we're doing this. <laughs> Now that this is done and I'm looking kind of like a weirdo, I have to go get something to put on my face so I can look even more like a weirdo. I'll be back. So snakes have scales and um, you can either buy scales to put on your face to be snake-like or you have to draw them individually by hand which <laughs> I don't have the time for. This is an effect that I use um, on many of my makeup looks. What I do to get the scaly-like effect is I take some fishnet stockings, you basically look like a mad person, and just put them over your face, and then you put your eyeshadow 
over the holes and it um, blocks the lines that are imprinted in the fish net. So that, that's how I get my scales and that's what we're doing right now. Please don't don't judge me. It's this is weird, but like just just don't, please. I honestly don't trust this camera with my life, so if it's bad quality, um it wasn't me, it was the camera. <laughs> There we go! It worked! I have a really good feeling that these bits are going to be way harder than the top. So, looking forward to that. Mm, help me. Okay, from here all we have to do is lips, probably eyebrows again, and highlight. Um, I sometimes do contour, but not very much because one, I'm not really good at it. And two, I don't like to overcrowd big looks like this. So if I added contour to this, I personally, I think it would just look too busy. So yeah. For lips, I don't have every single lip color in the world. So basically what I do for all my different colored lips, if I just use lip balm to be honest and then add eyeshadow on top of it it wouldn't look good if you're actually going out in the makeup but just for photos like I do um it looks pretty good so that's what I do um one day I will get different colored lipsticks but today is not that day <laughs> today we use lip balm and eyeshadow so yeah now for highlighter I'm not gonna have much but I'm just going to take my where is it pro contouring palette and take this one again not too much because it's kind of blinding and even though that's really good kind of annoying at the same time i'm going to curl my eyelashes then put this mascara okay um there was a label on this uh there's not one anymore so i'll curl my eyelashes put this unnamed mascara on and then I put on this OXX Cosmetics mascara on top of that to give some extra volume. Now that that's done I think I'm gonna call this look a day and then set it with some setting spray. Now that I'm all set and pretty much ready to go I'm going to clean my hand that is incredibly dirty and then go and put on a top that like coordinates with my look. Um, if you look at my Instagram, I do this, like, with all my things, because, you know, I'm just so pro. <laughs> now I've changed into my green shirt, I'm going to switch up my hair so it doesn't look like, um, any of my other posts. I like to change my hair to, like, different styles every post so it doesn't look kind of repetitive and boring. So I think today I'm going to do a side braid, well, not a side plait to represent like a tail of a snake and then just pull some hairs out because you know I'm cool ew hey yeah I'm definitely not cool so this is pretty much it now I just take photos and look at myself for like an hour and then wash it off and go cry that was oddly realistic I'm gonna shut up <laughs>